Today we're going to learn about probability of inclusive and mutually exclusive events. To start off with, let's make sure that we all know what a standard deck of 52 cards looks like. There are four suits, clubs, diamonds, hearts, and spades. There are 13 cards in each one of them. 4 times 13, of course, is a total of 52. You may press pause if you'd like to study this page a little bit longer. First, we're going to start with an example of probability of mutually exclusive events, which is what happens when two selections or events cannot happen at the same time. They're said to be mutually exclusive. Our problem is we're going to draw two cards from a deck of 52 cards. We'd like to find the probability of drawing a diamond or a black jack. Now, we know that the probability of drawing a diamond is 13 out of 52 because one fourth or 13 cards in the deck are diamonds. There are two black jacks. One of them is the jack of spades. One is the jack of clubs. So that probability will be two out of 52. When we add those together, we get a total probability of 15 out of 52. Next, we're gonna talk about probability of inclusive events, which is what happens when two selections are happening and they are able to, be ha to happen at the same time. They're said to be inclusive. We have the problem that we're going to draw two cards from a deck of 52. We'd like to find the probability of drawing a diamond, or this time, one of those two cards would be a red jack. So what we will do is we will find the probability of drawing a diamond, which is 13 out of 52. We don't have to have that. We could just have a red jack. There are two of them, the jack of diamonds and the jack of hearts. So that probability is 2 out of 52. But there is an overlap or an inclusion. The jack of diamonds fits both conditions. It is both a diamond and a red jack. So we don't want to count it twice. We subtract 1 out of 52 out. So our new probability for this event is 14 out of 52, or 7 out of 26. In review, let's just remind ourselves of the difference between the compound probabilities. For independent and dependent events, we are usually talking about two things happening at the same time, and they both must happen. In that case, we multiply the probabilities. When we are talking about mutually exclusive or inclusive events, we usually are going to see or use the word or, which means only one or the other of the events has to occur, but not both. In those cases, we will use subtraction and addition of the probabilities rather than multiplication. 